guys. Today um, is Wednesday. It is the day before New Year's Eve, so it's January 30th. And Kyle and I are going to kind of take you through our day today. Um, Wednesdays are grocery days, so you guys will get to see what we get for groceries. And we'll show you a little bit of what we eat, what we're eating right now in our diet. Um, right now, I need to get ready. So, I'm going to start with perfume. This is my new one. It is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. And I find the more that I wear this one, it actually smells better every time. So I'm just gonna put some of my makeup on. Look at outside everybody, it's snowy. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we got our uh, first big snowfall of the year. Yeah, and it is January 30th. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. We're prepping for cheat day tomorrow and for New Year's Eve. Yes, we usually do cheat days right now on Fridays, but because New Year's Eve is Thursday, we've moved it to Thursday. And where are we headed to now? Costco, Mr. Oh, yeah. Costco, Mrs. Costco, whatever. <laughs> 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 um, and we're going for groceries, friends. Yep. So we're going to take you along to Costco to see what we are going to buy and show you all of our groceries. We're going to a bunch of grocery stores today, but Costco is gonna be the first one on the trip. Yeah, because there's a few things on sale, um, like ice cream. Yeah, we might even get some Haagen-Dazs, some Ben and Jerry's for you guys. Oh, I'm getting ice cream. Yep. You know what else, also, we're gonna try to do more of these vlogs, but I'm gonna tell you a secret, we don't quite even know what a vlog is. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our version of one. But by golly, we're gonna try. And um, back to the ice cream topic, you see, we're getting a little low. We only have about 10 containers each, so we, <laughs> we, we need to get a, a few more to stock our yeah. freezer. <laughs> okay, so let's go driving, my friends. All right. Hello, boys. I'm the passenger. Yep. That's me. <laughs> Are you um, entertaining yourself over there? Yes, I like to make myself laugh. Um, yeah, so we're on our way to Costco right now. Um, we hope that everybody had a good holidays, good Christmas. And um, we certainly did. We enjoyed ourselves. We, like we had shared previously, we did um, two cheat days on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day um, because the holidays are special and we learned that in order to stay successful and to have a healthy lifestyle you include um, holidays which before we didn't and we would not allow ourselves to eat anything on the holidays which would set us up for failure and we would end up like binging and gaining weight eventually so this time we actually allowed ourselves to eat Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and um, it was great and now we're back to one cheat day a week and we are excited to kick off the new year and to get even closer to our fitness goals yeah. <laughs> we're on the road friends <laughs> I like making myself laugh, if you didn't know. Um, we Nobody else laughs. So. <laughs> I like to think that I'm funny, but not many other people think that I am. But that's okay, because I think that I'm funny. Um, so, at Costco today, we're going to get some bread. We have... Um, we heard a lot about sprouted grain bread, and we decided to try it. It has... Um, it has a decent amount of carbs in it, but still low enough for people that are watching their carb intake. And um, it's got pretty good fiber and protein in it as well. And uh, it's really good and it's pretty decently priced um, at Costco. So we're going to do that. And it helps you poo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It's got seed, like, uh, what are those? Not sesame well, seeds. Well, it's, it's sprouted grains, so it's made from a whole bunch of different seeds and grains. Sunflower seeds. Sunflower right. seeds, flax seeds, um, all kinds of different stuff in there. 
and it's pretty tasty too and then um, they have these really good pillows at Costco and I like to get new pillows every six months <laughs> and uh, then Kyle gets my old ones dee, 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 dee. and um, so I'm getting new pillows I like pillows and um, you get two at Costco for like 17 bucks and they're actually really really good um, yeah and what else am I getting at Costco? Well, yeah, what else? We, I think we're looking for natural peanut butter. Oh, yeah, there's, um, I, I really enjoy, like, I like normal processed peanut butter, but it is processed, and I like to use peanut butter as one of my healthy fats for the day, so I've turned, I started using natural peanut butter, and Kyle uses a little bit of both, um, but Kirkland, the Costco brand, has two I believe one kilogram jars for like $13 and that's those are massive jars for natural peanut butter and that's a really good price for two big jars like that and usually if you're looking for natural peanut butter it's shouldn't be any added sugar and it should just be pretty much just peanuts ground up all it all the ingredients should have is roasted peanuts yeah um, that that's it nothing added because if there is anything added it is processed so if you're looking to use natural peanut butter as a healthy fat that's the way to go um, and it's actually pretty good it's it's quite tasty I didn't think that I would like it but it's really good because it you know how it looks kind of scary because it's all oily and runny and stuff but it actually tastes really really good when you stir it up it doesn't look like that yeah when you stir it up it looks pretty like normal so, so we'll see we're at costco now but it should be uh, fairly busy it's a day before new year's like we said and uh yeah people are getting food mm, i yeah, like food so are we <laughs> okay so we'll show you guys what we get um when we go out uh when we come out of costco we may be able to film in there but probably pretty nuts so you'll just see what we get when we're out see you later alligator yep. We're on our way to Walmart. We just got out of Costco. We went back in and we were talking about the natural peanut butter earlier. Last time that we were at Costco, we checked and we saw that it looked like a pretty good deal. But like we said, the ingredients should only have peanuts on the back. And when we checked this natural peanut butter, it, it did have only peanuts as the ingredient, but it had sugar. Um, which it shouldn't have any sugar if it's just peanuts. So we decided not to get it because um, there's no way that it should be containing sugar if it's just peanuts. So um, natural peanut butter, remember, it should have absolutely no sugar in it, a little bit of carbs, a little bit of fat. Yeah, just check your labels because yeah. the other the other brands of peanut, natural peanut butter have zero sugar. Now. Yeah, the one that we're currently using it has no sugar at all. It's craft, right? It's craft. It's craft natural, and they have uh, the the creamy, and they have the crunchy, and they both have no sugar, a little bit of carbs, some fat, and some protein in it, and uh, it's pretty decent macros. It's just that we were looking to buy it in bulk because it's a small jar that you get for a well, a medium jar that you get for a, a pretty decent price, but in bulk would have been better because we use it every day. Costco wasn't too bad. Like I thought it would be worse. <laughs> yeah, it was busy, but because it was busy there, all the tills were open and we got through the line pretty quickly. We got some good stuff. So once we get to Walmart and we get in the parking lot and it's a little less crowded, we'll uh, quickly show you what we got at Costco before we head into Wally World. Yes, we will. And I got a something I didn't expect. I got a fancy new hair dryer. I was looking for a new one because my old one is on its way out. I can tell because it doesn't dry my hair as fast anymore. So um, I saw this deal. It's a Conair blow dryer that has the ter ter ceramic tourmaline, I think it's called. I, sorry if I said it wrong. Um, you said it wrong. <laughs> but that's what I always look for in a hair dryer because it helps dry hair a lot quicker. And I was doing some research and I read that 1400 watts is the minimum for a good fast hair dryer. And this one is 1800 and something watts. 
and it was $30 and it has everything that I like. It has a cool shot button, it has three different heat settings, and I believe two different speeds, which is, um, and it also has a diffuser on it, and I, and, um, I love all of those options. Those are always the one, the options that I choose when I get a good hair dryer. So I'm really excited. I'll show you guys the box and I'm excited to try it out. When I'm look, I got a tip for you guys. When I'm looking to buy um, a hair dryer, <laughs> one of the most important tips and things that you have to look for when buying a hair dryer is that it dries hair. <laughs> okay, thanks for being funny, funny man. <laughs> See you at, Co at, not Costco, we're already done there. <laughs> See you at Walmart. Hi, we're back. Um, we went to Costco, Walmart, and Sobeys. Um, from Costco, oh, first, before I forget, we lied. There is one sugar in the peanut butter that we usually get as well. So as long as it doesn't have more than one sugar, your peanut butter, your natural peanut butter is good. Yeah, as Just, long as it's not added sugar. Yeah, so what we got at Costco, um, these blueberries, we always get these frozen blueberries. They're, uh, we use them pretty much every day. We got the Greek yogurt. Both of these are about 10 or $11 a piece. Um, this is the, this blow dryer that I found. Um, I needed a new one and it's, uh, got really good wattage. It's 1800 watts and it has the, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but ceramic tourmaline and that's always what I look for in a dryer. And it was $30, which is a really good price for a Conair. Um, we got some Chicago mix. This is our favorite. We usually get it at Costco and it was on sale. It was $2 off. Caramel and cheddar popcorn. Ooh, yeah, yep. it's so good. Um, we got our sprouted grain bread. Yep, this is the bread we were talking about. You get two loaves for about $7 and the loaves are 640 grams each. And here it says the sprouted grain. It's like, sprouted grain is some of the best bread you can buy if you're weightlifting. Uh, <laughs> and here you go, friends, Big is pillows. my pillows. They are queen size and they were two for $17.99. And look, they're squishy. Okay, so at Walmart, we... Some frozen veg. Yeah. Uh, mixed. Six Days worth of frozen vegetables. Um, look at this. Genoa salami for a treat day sandwich. Um, just like some odds and ends like uh, this is my favorite concealer. It's Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. And I am very light. Sorry, very fair slash light. Um, we got... Some Tostitos for a dip I'm going to make for tomorrow. Um, brown rice. They were out of our favorite rice, so we're going to try this brown rice. We usually get the Walmart brand brown rice. Um, some celery. We got some cucumbers somewhere. Um, these are our olive ciabatta buns for treat day. We're going to have sandwiches for lunch. Tuna. Bunch lots, of cans of tuna. Nine cans, I believe. Um, what else we got here? Oh, our cashew milk. Cashew unsweetened soap. Always unsweetened. What else we got? Um, oh, look at these makeup sponges. My favorite shampoo. And we always like to enjoy this cappuccino on treat day. For, um, it's sugar free and it's Hills Brothers French Vanilla Cappuccino. Yep. A uh, bunch of cottage cheese, just the GV cottage cheese. One percent. One percent. It's good stuff. We mix it with cocoa powder and stevia, Splenda, and some more veggies, uh, carrots, cucumbers, and I think we got one more thing to show you guys. Um, from Sobeys, their um, Hagen Dazs was on for four forty four. It's normally like six to seven dollars here. Yeah, so Hagen -Dazs. it's like half price. Too. Yeah. So it, um. Cookie Dough Dynamo is really, really good. We've had it before, so we got each got one. And for those of you that live in Canada, you probably know that you often cannot get Walden Farms syrups in any store. You have to go to a health food store or get it online. Well, 
I found it at Sobeys for way cheaper than I've ever seen it anywhere. It was $4.79. It's normally $5.99 here. Yeah. So well, I got two That's a good find. Yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Bye.